after uh, the halo alkanes halo arenes chapter in the previous question let's see this okay what did he give us they said when acyl chloride is heated with sodium salt of carboxylic acid the product formed is first let us write the reaction then we will understand acyl chloride what is acyl chloride ch3 co cl this is the acyl group now what did they say it is heated with sodium salt of carboxylic acid so basically ca uh, carboxylic acid that is your acetic acid now acetic acid what did they do they have introduced this sodium any oh if i take this any replaced and water comes out so what is this one? sodium salt of carboxylic acid is this sodium salt of carboxylic acid and they said these two are heated heated so what it gets NaCl is out minus NaCl join these two we get CH3 is here now CO is here here also CH3 CO CH3 CO both are linked with oxygen plus NaCl so what is this this is nothing but acetic anhydride or acid anhydride this is called acid anhydride right so what do they give us when acyl chloride is heated with sodium salt of carboxylic acid the product form is what is the answer it is called acid or it is an anhydride which is formed simple students right let's come back and do the next question no, let's come back and do the next question, students. Now, what does this uh, question say? Let's read. So, uh, again, I think this is a surface chemistry question of grade 12. What do they give us? Alloy is an example of, okay, so alloy, basically alloy, they said, they've given different options, whether it is a gel, whether it is a solidified emulsion, whether it is a solid solution or whether it is a solid. So, first of all, I have, I should first, before mark, putting a tick on the correct option, I have to know what actually are all these. What is a gel, basically? Gel is a solid jelly like a soft means it is a cross link system isn't it? What is a gel? It is a solid jelly like soft cross link system. Okay, cross link system. This is done. So when I have to speak about the solidified emulsion, what is solidified emulsion? It is right first. So emulsion, emulsion basically it is, you know, it basically this emulsion means whenever you see emulsion, it is a combination of two immiscible liquids. Emulsions are combinations of immiscible liquids. How many? Two. Here, one liquid is dispersed in the other liquid. So mixture, mixture of, of two immiscible liquids. What is now solid solution? basically solid solution is nothing but a solid mixed in lattice means a solid mixture which is present in lattice of a solvent this is this let us write it is a solid mixture present in lattice of solvent okay done now what is solve Sol basically solid in a continuous liquid medium. Sol means solid in liquid, that is solid in a continuous liquid medium. Done. What are the examples of this? Basically, examples are blood, examples are paint, example are cell fluids like this. Now, what they ask us, they said alloy is an example of what is an alloy basically. Alloy is a mixture of two or more elements isn't it which has metallic property it means it is a combination of two or more metals what are the different examples An example is brass is an alloy of copper and zinc uh, steel is an alloy of iron and carbon like that it is a combination of two or more metals correct so here they asked what is the correct option of that now basically i know the definition alloy is a mixture of uh are the example of means mean i just told you it's a combination of two or more metals but here we what did we uh, study or what is the concept i said it is a mixture of two or more solids or two or more metals so what is solid solution solid mixed in a lattice of solvent so solid mixture so this is the answer isn't it so solid solution is a correct option for alloy 
right so all i have to, i should not give because this is solid in liquid emulsion is again liquid in liquid gel again is in uh, jelly like thing so alloy is a solid solution with a mixture of two or more metals after a surface chemistry question where we have spoken about gel solidified emulsions solid solution and uh, your sol let us come back and do the next question so here what which chapter is this this is basically from solution chapter okay so this said the mole fraction of a solute in one molal aqueous solution is right so we have to find the mole fraction so basically mole fraction is denoted by which uh, this one mole fraction is denoted by x isn't it i have to find for solute so mole fraction of solute i need to find right. so what is the formula for finding a mole fraction the formula is n by n what is this n basically yeah n the formula of a capital n is nothing but small w by uh, sorry capital w by what is this it's nothing but number of moles of the solvent so capital n we we'll take it as number of moles of the solvent that is it that it is nothing but the ratio of weight by molecular weight so here what is the solvent this is one molar aqueous solution what is one molar aqueous solution one molar aqueous solution means implies one mole of solute in one kg of water one mole of solute in one kg of water right let's write this n of water is equal to 1000 by 18 which is equal to 55.55 hope this is clear students let's come back and see they said the mole fraction of a solute in one molar like a solution of this one so basically the mole fraction formula of uh, means to find out x of solute this is the formula correct now what is capital n it is nothing but number of moles of the solvent is weighed by molecular weight so when they said one molar like a solution means one mole of solute in one kg of water one kg so some grams no substitute x of solute is equal to 1 by 1 plus 55.5 which is equal to 0 0.018 so the correct option is 0 0.018 is the correct option so don't get confused means one molar aqueous solution is nothing but one mole of solute in one kg of water let's come back and do the next numerical so let's see the next question so what do we give us here uh, last question we have done a numerical based on the solution chapter that is concept of mole fraction now here what do they give us they said which of the following combinations will produce a hydrogen gas so they have given different combinations of metals now i have to see which one produces hydrogen gas let us write one after the other what is the first one they said zinc metal reacts with sodium hydroxide aqueous so zinc plus sodium hydroxide right right so what what do we get we get sodium zincate in a2 zno2 plus hydrogen gas if i take two moles of this next they said gold or au metal and sodium cyanide occurs in the presence of air that is oxygen correct let us write this au plus nacl in the presence of oxygen aqueous they said so i have to write water so this combines with gold forming a coordinate choline complex that is the complex formed as na u c n ticket twice plus sodium hydroxide naoh let me balance this mm, this is two this is four and mm, it becomes eight four this is two this is four this is also four so there's no hydrogen gas in this when i see the third reaction they asked they said copper metal reacts with concentrated nitric acid copper plus hno3 concentrated what do we get metal plus acid yes means important thing is nitric acid when it reacts you get nit well, there is evolution of nitrogen dioxide gas so copper nitrate first forms copper nitrate 
first forms then nitrogen dioxide is evolved out with water so let us balance two. this is two this is four okay so there is no hydrogen gas evolved now in the fourth case they said iron reacts with concentrated nitric acid so is uh, this is concentrated nitric acid it is hmm, concentrated nitric acid here there is a formation of passive layer means you get uh, first the formation of fe2o3 in the surface of fe and nitrogen gas also is evolved so you get a passive layer of fe2o3 in the surface of fe the coating forms so fe2o3 on surface of fe and nitrogen gas is evolved out right yeah that's it so here when i see all the options which is the reaction uh, which is the reaction where which will produce hydrogen gas right so basically the reaction or when i see this one the first reaction isn't it in the first reaction only i get the evolution of hydrogen gas so the correct option is a let us take that please note the reaction students let's come back and do the next question solve the next question i'm going very slowly so that your concept is clear for you all now let's come back and start with the next question uh, students now the next question we have a numerical to be uh, to be solved let's see this what do you give us they said dissolving 120 grams of a compound of molecular weight 60 in 1000 grams of water gave a solution of density 1.12 gram per milliliter the molarity of the solution so directly they have asked you means to find the molarity so basically let's note what what data we have so what is the mass of compound given to us mass of compound 120 grams correct so i can directly find moles now no moles is weight by molecular weight so 120 grams by molecular weight they've already given in the sum here 60 that is gram per mole so how many number of moles two next mass of solution because i have to calculate molarity isn't it so mass of solution is equal to solution is nothing but thousand grams of water correct in that 120 grams we have dissolved already solution means solute plus solvent so 1000 plus 120 comes to 1120 grams now volume of the solution is equal to density is equal to mass by volume now volume is equal to mass by density correct how much is mass mass is nothing but 1120 how much is the density 1.12 gram per milliliter how much do i get 1000 ml now calculate molarity directly again i have all the data molarity is equal to 2 by 1000 into 1000 ml this is ml this is moles so this in this gets cancelled so how much 2 molar what is m means m is nothing but number of moles by number of moles per liter correct so the answer is 2 so 2m is the correct answer correct option so i marked c option c is the right option let's come back and do the next or solve the next question